All right, let's talk about a very common exercise that we all do that can be detrimental if you do it wrong, deadlifts. By the end of this video, you'll understand what the exercise is and which one you should be doing. Learn the techniques of the most common deadlift variations and avoid common mistakes. Coach Cassandra here, welcome to another video. First up, the basics. The deadlift itself is a compound multiple joint lower body exercise. It works the posterior chain, which is the back, hips, and hamstrings. Because the weight is placed forward of your center point, it calls for your spine muscles to stabilize your spine. It can be performed with a variety of free weights, such as dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells, whichever you like. And fun fact, you'll also find deadlifts being performed by athletes in competition at powerlifting events. So it's not just an exercise, it's a competitive move. How about variations? The main variations are conventional, sumo, stiff leg, and Romanian deadlifts. All of these varieties require proper biomechanics in the starting position so that the move is performed safely and efficiently. All right, first up, conventional deadlifts. These deadlifts, you start with the weight on the floor. Feet are shoulder distance apart, bending at the knees, you shoot the hips back, you reach for the weight so your hands are on the outside of your knees, palms facing you. Back should be flat, slight lift in the chest to engage the upper back and prevent rounding, and arms fully extended. While keeping your torso tight and arms extended, lift the weight off the floor by extending your hips and your knees. Drive your feet into the floor, move the weight upward. Once your hands reach your knees, extend the hips forward and continue to extend your hips and your knees until your body reaches a full upright position. To lower the weight, bend at the knees and hips, lowering the weight to the floor while keeping your back and neck in a straight line. Now some key points, do not lean over your weight to pick them up. Mm -mm. Hands need to be directly under the shoulders. Do not let your knees straighten too early. They should be at the same time as your hips and chest. Lastly, do not lean backward when you get to a fully standing position. Yuck. Next up, sumo deadlifts. Again, with the weight on the floor, feet are wider than shoulder width and toes will be angled outward in line with the toes, about 45 degrees out. Hand position is similar to convention deadlift, but just below the shoulders, but this time between the knees. Palms facing toward you and arms fully extended, shoot the hips back while you squat down, but keep them higher than your knees. Keep your back flat, as upright as possible, and in line with your neck. Again, chest out and up to maintain tension in your upper back to prevent rounding. To lift, simultaneously ex start extending the knees, hips, and back, driving the feet into the floor. Keep your weight close to the body, almost allowing the weight to drag up your legs. Once the weight reaches your knees, extend those hips by squeezing the glutes and you'll finish in a fully upright position. To lower, bend at the knees and hips, and at the same time while keeping the back flat and chest lifted until the weight meets the floor. Now a few key points. Sumo deadlifts keep a more upright position than the conventional deadlift, and also avoid leaning backward when you get fully standing position by engaging those glutes. Next up, stiff leg deadlifts. Now the name gives it away its main difference, However, this one starts standing with the weights in your hands. It's the same setup as the conventional deadlift with feet shoulder width apart, hands just on the outside of your knees and palms facing you. Begin by hinging at the hips while keeping your knees slightly bent. Drive those hips back and lower the weight, keeping the weight directly under your shoulders lowering the weight until you feel the stretch in your hamstrings or until the weight touches the floor. Keep your back nice and flat with chest out and up. The knees remain slightly bent rather than locked, 
but do not fully bend like they do with a conventional deadlift, i.e. stiff leg. To return to standing, start the movement by extending your hips while keeping your back flat and legs only slightly bent. Now a few key reminders, do not lean backward and keep those knees slightly bent, never locked straight. Because this variation adds more stress on the lower back, it's very important to not round the spine. Keep the shoulders back, chest lifted, and back flat. Romanian deadlift. This one has the same setup as the stiff leg deadlift. Begin with your weight in your hands, feet shoulder width apart. Knees slightly bent, hands gripping your weight just on the outside of your knees, palms facing you. Initiate the movement with your hips shooting them back while hinging forward. Keep the hips moving backward while lowering the weight and this time keep the weight close to your body almost skimming the legs. Keep the back flat and chest lifted. Knees bend slightly more as you lower the weight stopping when your hands reach your knees. Now lift the weight back up by shooting these hit those hips forward and lifting your chest up until you reach a standing position. Now key reminders, do not overly bend those knees. You should still feel a stretch in the back of your legs. This deadlift tends to lead to more rounding of the upper back, so pay attention to lifting that chest and squeezing your shoulders together. Now what variation is right for you? Well, it depends what you're looking for. Stiff leg and Romanian deadlifts put greater emphasis on working the hamstrings and glutes, while the sumo deadlift will add the quadriceps to the party. If you want to focus more on the glutes, then conventional deadlifts are your friend as they focus on the glutes but still activate the hamstrings. Now if you have lower back issues, avoid the stiff leg deadlift as it puts the most strain on your back. Instead, go for the Romanian deadlift. Finally, the weight training belts that you see people wearing can help reduce the risk of injury when you start lifting those big heavy weights. For those lifting lighter weights, it's not necessary. There you have it. Deadlifts are a great exercise that work the posterior chain that you probably have performed many times before. Now you know the difference between the top variations and which variations you should be doing based on your goals and your body, as well as proper technique. If you ever think you might be doing the deadlift wrong, go back to the variation you are doing in this video and perform the exercise with me. Really listen to the description and see if you can match it. Now you can always join me in person or virtually in Driven Fitness. We have virtual, we have hybrid of both in person and virtually available. Just message me if you'd like further details or click on the link below to Driven Fitness Now's website. Now if you like this video, make sure you click that like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos.